Hey guys, how are y'all? So, as promised, I have a haul video. I was on an October no buy that I called Octo buy, and it was an incredibly long month. So, I did a little shopping on Friday, which was November 1st. I walked into Ulta, and all of the girls that work there, or a couple of them that work there that, like, know me, were like, where have you been? And then I had to explain, and... Yeah, all that good stuff. So, I have a little haul. Okay, so I went to Walgreens first, and I picked up a few things. The first thing, and I have already used this because I wanted to try it, um, is the Wet n' Wild Mega Length Mascara. It came like this, and I tested this out. Someone recommended it, and I cannot remember who it was, but if it, if I remember, I will put a link down here, but... I make no promises, but I'm really disappointed in this mascara. Have y'all tried it? I It does nothing for me. I actually feel like I'll put the product on, and then when I go in with a second coat, like maybe I need to let it dry in between coats more. I don't know, but I just feel like when I go in with a second coat, it like wipes everything away, and it doesn't... Uh, anyway, maybe once it dries out some... But as of right now, not a big fan. And I dropped it. Um, I also picked up because... Wrong one. Because I have two of these. I have like the Cranberry Crush and the Honey Love. I went ahead and I picked up Sweet, Zero Two Sweet Pink of the Jordana Twist and Shine Moisturizing Balm Stain. Um... This was a recommendation, so let's test this out. I was actually really good, um, and I haven't tried but like three of the things that I bought because I wanted to share it with you guys first. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Oh, it's a really pretty pink, and it pretty much looks exactly like the tube. Can you guys see? Am I in the am I in frame? <laughs> um, yeah. It's just a really pretty baby doll pink. Let's put it on. Let's see. I'm wearing um, Max Angel right now. See if we can get it to show up over the angel. What y'all think? I like it. A lot. Very pretty. Um... I also picked up three things from Revlon. Uh, Mel MPHS um, or Melissa, uh, well, she, I think, yeah, she changed her channel. Now it's just Melissa Raymond. Uh, she has talked about this a couple times, so I thought I would try it. And it's just the Revlon Bronzer and Bronzed in Chic, number 100. It looks like this. has a little brush. It's matte. Oh, it's pretty. It's a little orange, but you know, you can you can just use the dark one. Hmm. I can't wait to try, try that out. Looks really pretty. It looks like it might be a lot like the uh, NYC Sunny bronzer, but we will see. Um, I also picked up a Revlon blush. This will be my first Revlon blush. And this is in Wine with everything. Zero six zero. Makes some of these things so hard to get into. What you know is fine because then other people can't be testing them out. Okay. Comes with a little brush like so. And it's just a really pretty, um, I just thought it would be a really pretty color for fall. Mm, it's not very pigmented. You guys see? I don't know. Yeah, and it's powdery. Maybe that's why I don't hear anyone talking about Revlon blushes. What are y'all? Have y'all ever tried that? Revlon blush? Oh, I don't know. Here it is. A little disappointed in that, but... I don't know. Sometimes things don't swatch very well, but they still apply really beautifully to the face. So we'll see. And the last thing from Walgreens, 
is a Revlon Age Defying with DNA Advantage Concealer. I got mine in 01 Light. And I haven't heard anyone talk about this either. So I thought I would give it a, a try. I don't even know why I keep trying concealers because we all know my favorite is the MAC Prep and MAC Prep and Prime. I can't even say Prep and Prime. Um, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is my Holy Girl Concealer. I just have not tried anything that's even close to being as good as that. I don't know why I'm just watching this for you guys. But, you know, it's supposed to help. It's age-defying, so I would assume it's not supposed to settle. Buildable to full coverage concealer with anti-aging skin care. Lord knows I need that. Um, oops. So, yeah. It blends in nicely into the skin. I, like, mixed it with the bronze finger, so it's a little dark. But, anyway. I will test that out and let y'all know what I think. I also picked up... This one got away from me. <laughs> um, but this is actually from CVS. I just threw in here. Um, the... Revlon Colorburst Matte Balm. I was going to get one of each. I wanted to get like one of the lacquered ones and one of the matte ones. But um, Danny, my friend um, from Coffee Break with Danny, did a little like review on these. And she said that the lacquered ones have um, like, like glitter to where like if you eat away, I think she said. Like, you know, when it wears off, you actually have like glitter particles on your lips that's not my cup of tea if it is yours more power to you but so I just picked up one of these because the rest of them looked like colors that I had like there was a really pretty um color that I almost got but it just I thought that it would be too much like Mac and Passion mm -hmm. and um I do need to go back and get the purple one, though, because I thought that I had a purple like that, but she sent me swatches, and I don't, and I need the purple one in my life. So, but anyway, this is 225 Sultry, 225 Sultry, and it is just a really perfect berry color, mauve berry color, and I think that it'll be great for this time of year. So, yeah, I'll see how I like them, how they wear. You want me to try it on? Let me see if I have something to get this off with. Okay, I do. Let me just bust out a lot. I'll let you guys see. Okay. How y'all doing today? It's such a beautiful day here. Okay. It's a little cloudy. So if I'm, the sun, if the light's coming in and out, it's just a cloud. So, yeah. Wipe that off too. If y'all hear snoring, it's my two-year-old. <laughs> he fell asleep on the way home from church. So, yeah. Okay. Very opaque. Don't even need a liner. I think I like it a lot. Hold <laughs> that. This next. Yay! And I didn't go too crazy. And I lied. I think I tried four things. I tried the mascara. Let's see. Okay. Well, we'll do the little stuff and then I'll finish with the, the finale, which I'm so excited about. But I'll get to it. So the boring stuff first, which isn't boring because both of these are holy grails for me. Um, well, this is holy grail. And I've just been loving this. We all know that I love my Jordana um, Volume Extreme. Um, what's it called? I don't know why I cannot remember what it's called. <laughs> Best Lash Extreme. We all know I love this, but I have really, the last month, really been loving my te um, telescopic. And I was out of it, so I picked up another one of these. And my Holy Girl Cover Girl Club Crusher Waterproof for my bottom lash line. Um, let's see. Oh, and I also, L'Oreal at, at, um... Ulta was like buy two get one free so I picked up this mascara and I have used this as well let me grab it it's in my foundation drawer I've been wanting to try and I just haven't bought it because um I have so many foundations that I really need to go through but I am almost out of one so I was like and I 
I am going to rebuy that one, so I guess that doesn't really count. But I've been wanting to try the L'Oreal True Match. We all know about it. I've heard so many great things about it. I'm wearing it today. Um, and I do really like it. I feel like it's a little dark for me, and maybe even a little yellow. So, yeah, I picked up Natural Beige W4. I might exchange this and get like a shade lighter. I picked this one up because Melissa Raymond, we usually are like right there with the colors and this is her shade. So I was like, this must be it because I'm awful at like picking out my shade at drugstore, like drugstore foundations. So, but I do really like the coverage. Um, yeah, I think it's really pretty. So anyway, I bought two and I got one free and I got the Voluminous Butterfly. It's new. If y'all want a first impressions, let me know. I um, I don't know if I'll be able to hold out to try it though because I'm really intrigued by this wand and I've heard I've heard really good things about it actually. Um, and then I also and I've heard these were like impossible to get a hold of and I saw these at Ulta and I was the first one to buy anything out of the entire collection. Like all six of these were here. Like they have a brown one. Um, like a yellow based nude and then this one which is called nude pink and these are the limited edition color tattoos and um, yeah I got it because you know I'm always looking for a dupe for my Mac, Mac, <laughs> Mac Paint Pot and Painterly. Um, this is really really close to Painterly. Let me grab that. I, um, I'm not sure that I would call it a dupe. I've only used it twice but it's darker. I'm not sure if you can tell. It's a little darker and it goes on your eyelid. Um, a little darker. It doesn't, I don't know if it's like coming off. Let me see if I can get. But so far I'm wearing it underneath my eyeshadows today. But yeah, I mean, you can totally, if you can see the swatch, you can definitely see that it's darker. But the consistency. The consistency and everything is pretty much spot on. I don't mind it being a little darker. It is limited edition though, so if you can get your hands on it, that's great. But it's not like you're going to be able to repurchase it. So, I don't know. I don't know. It's nice. It wouldn't stop me from buying painterly though. I'm just, I can't help it. Anyway. So, I wanted two colors for sure. Like, you know, I, ha I love my Urban Decay Naked lipstick. I ended up picking up Rapture, and I was going to pick up Native, because it's just so, I've heard it's a great, look at me, I'm like, obviously obsessed with Melissa Raymond. Um, she, like, put an Instagram picture, and she's always talking about the color Native, and it's a gorgeous color, and I almost bought it, but I wore MAC Angel into, I've been wearing that the last week or so. And I wore it into Ulta, and when I swatched Native on my hand, I was like, that looks very familiar. So I pulled um, Angel out of my handbag, and I swatched it, and they are, and it, they're like exactly the same color. Um, I will say that, the and I'm pretty sure, no, Angel's a frost, but I will, I do believe that Native was a little creamier um, in the texture, but I just couldn't... I mean, y'all know I'm a makeup addict, but I just couldn't make my, I just couldn't do it. They were just so, I mean, they were like the same color, so I didn't, but I did pick up Rapture, so, and it looks like this, and I did swatch this on my hand. Oh, y'all want to see it? I'll show it to you. <laughs> got this. I got this. I need to see if I have any dupes for this color. So, I really like this too. And this is a really um, pretty, like, plummy berry color. Um, I've been wanting it, but I was on my no-buy, so I couldn't buy it. But, yeah, I love it. What do y'all think?
I've said that like a hundred times. What do y'all think? But anyway, I'm almost done. This is probably a long video. I don't even know how long it is. I can't tell. But, okay, so I've heard that the Laura Geller, and I've been, in, like, really interested in trying this, the Balance and Brighten Baked Color Correcting Foundation um, powder. I've heard this was great, and I went in looking at that, and I just happened to turn my back, and this was part, this was one of the, like, September 21 days of September, or whatever it was, sell. Um... This comes with a brush, too. Well, the powder itself is usually $33. And um, when I saw this, I was like, yeah, I got to try it because I had a 20% off coupon. So I only really paid $16, and I got the powder, which was usually $33, and a little brush. And, oh, I have tried this, and I'm still unsure about it. But I think mostly more than anything is I think it might be too dark for me looks like this I'm not sure I mean it doesn't it I mean you can't even see it because I I don't know still up in the air I'll let y'all know so I got that last but not least I've seen this on Facebook I know I, I don't remember who but I've seen it and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. That's so cute. I have too many eyeshadows. No way am I buying another palette. Those are my thoughts. And then I got there to the Tarte section. And I saw this. And it was like light slid up. Oh, gorgeous. And I bought it. I caved. I had 20% off. Why not? This bad boy right here. Did I need it? No. Is it worth the money? Absolutely. Like, it is gorgeous. And y'all y'all know I love y'all because I wanted to wear this today to church. And yesterday when I went off. But I didn't. Work out the vice too instead. But it looks like this. It's really cute packaging. It is cardboard. It's heavy. Um, it's, it's huge. That's the only downside. It's like, it's not, you know... It's huge. But let me open it for y'all because it's beautiful. So you have this huge mirror. Check this out. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Can y'all see this? Are you dying? Seriously. Let me let y'all see it again. I hope you can see it, and I hope I didn't find you. Look at my hair. You'll have to forgive me. I've had six kids. So, um, yeah. What I love about this, you can take each of these out. So here's one. This is, like, it has 16 eyeshadows and four blushes. And y'all know I love Tarte blushes because they are awesome. And then we have this one. If y'all want to review with swatches of these, I'll do that, but I would be here forever, and this video is already long enough. So, but look at the pigmentation on these. Like, they're gorgeous. Do you see, do you see why I had to get it? <laughs> and I love this one. I cannot wait to do a look with this. So, I mean, I can't wait to play with all of them, but... You know, let's clean up a little bit. Okay, then you pour, pour, pull this little thing out, and you have three full size lip glosses, one of those little baggies, and then this little adorable little case. That what you do is like, I'm going on vacation this month, so if I want to just take one of these, I could like pull it out, stick it in. And there you go. How cute is that idea? Like, I don't, it's, it excites me. <laughs> I might be easily excitable, but anyway. So, and these, I've never tried tar Tarte lip glosses, but these are just really pretty. They do smell minty. Oh, I guess I could tell you the color. Shush, sesh me out. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sorry if I was all over the place or if I seemed a little... Uh, but it's like, I've had two sick boys and... You know, today's like the first day that they both felt well. We actually got to go to church, which I was unsure about yesterday. So, yes. I hope y'all are having, or I hope y'all had a great week. And uh, Sephora's VIB sale. I missed the friends and family um, sale because I was on my no-buy. And I had a coupon just sitting in my purse that went to waste because I couldn't use it. Willpower. Willpower. But the VIB's. VIB sales coming up and Nordstrom Rack is opening this well when y'all watch this it will be that weekend so I will probably have another haul video for y'all thumbs up for haul videos but anyway guys I think that's everything yeah <laughs> until next time love you guys bye